In this video, we will discuss the problem probability of night. The problem says that we have been given a chessboard which is of size n cross m and we have been given a knight which is initially standing at the position x comma y and the knight can move exactly k steps right so it is allowed that the knight will move k steps and in one step the problem says that knight has eight options so you know that in a chessboard like in this case it is saying that the knight can move k steps but if the knight moves by one step right so if the knight moves by one step so it has eight options right it has eight options why because if suppose that the knight is standing here suppose that the knight is standing here so it can go up up and then towards this side right it can go here or it can go up up and then here right it can go down down and then here it can go down down and then uh, left it can go right right and then up it can go right right and then down it can go left left and then down it can go left left and up so these are the eight directions in which it can move so basically if i tell you using this example so here you can see that if this is the grid that's been given to me so it will move up up and then here then up up and then left uh, then similarly right right and down and right right and up then down down and right down down and uh, left then left left and down left left and up so these are the eight different positions to which the knight can move right after this you can observe that this will happen in one step right so if the knight takes one step then these eight options these eight positions are there which to which the knight can move and the problem says that ultimately the knight is allowed to move k steps so if this these these are the po po possible set of positions if the knight takes takes k steps uh, if it if the knight takes one step so if the knight is taking k steps so in that case it can also fall out of the grid right because suppose it is standing here so if it if it take this kind of a step so it will fall out of the grid so what you have to tell is you have to tell the probability you have to find the probability that the knight remains inside the chessboard after taking these k steps right so suppose that the knight has taken k steps in that case you have to tell that what is the probability that the knight will still remain inside the chessboard right with the condition that uh, that it can enter the board once uh, it leaves right so this is what you have to tell now in this problem how will you do this so first of all the first thing is that what are the actual coordinates so let's say the white position that it is at uh, this white position is i comma j right suppose that it is standing at i comma j so let's try and identify the coordinates in the first step so in the first step it has these many directions so if i talk about this position so this position will be what this position is nothing but i minus 2 because i am moving two grids upwards right i minus 2 comma j plus 1 if i talk about this position this this x so in that case the position is nothing but i minus 1 because i am moving one uh, one uh, row up and the j column will be j plus 2 right because i am moving two columns towards the right side if i talk about this column uh, this particular uh, row and column so in this case it will be i plus 1 because i am moving one row down and j plus 2 right you can see now if i talk about this x so this x is uh, this position will be what this position will be nothing but i plus 2 because i am moving two rows downside and then j plus 1 right j plus 1 if i talk about this uh, position so it will be what i plus 2 because i am moving two rows down and then j minus 1 because i am uh, moving one column towards the left now if i talk about this so i will be what i plus 1 and then the position of j will be nothing but j minus uh, j minus 2 because i am moving two steps towards the left side okay if i talk about this position so this position will be what this position will be nothing but this position will be i minus 1 comma j minus 2 because i am moving one row upwards and I'm moving two column backwards, right? If I talk about this position, so this position will be nothing but what? I minus two comma J minus one because I'm moving two uh, rows up and one column back, right? So these will be the positions. So how, like, will you write all these positions? No, basically you can see that the combination is there, right? So you can see that for the first coordinate, for, for first coordinate minus two and minus one, right? So you can say that uh, if I want to change i, so it will be it will be changed by x will be changed by minus two, y will be changed by minus one, right? Similarly, if you talk about uh, this one, so here you can see that plus one comma two, right? So this these are the combinations that I need to make. So I have already made this vector. If you will see, so I've made this vector because as you as you saw, like I had uh, minus one with minus two, right? I had one with two because you can see here. If I show you here in this diagram. So you can see that 1 comma 2 was there right you can see here 
plus 1 and plus 2. So with respect to a particular position I come here, I can move to one one row down and one two columns towards the right side okay this way then plus two and one so you can see this pair also I have made according to the x and the y indexes that is uh, plus two and then one I have also made this so this is how like you can see plus two and one this is how I have made it uh, to traverse one by one because I will not be writing all these eight conditions I can simply say that I can store all these combinations in a particular vector and then I can move to all the positions now the thing is how to calculate the probability once you are done with this part so the thing is that how actually to do this so you can say that let's suppose that you were standing at i comma j right you were standing at the cell i comma j so what you could do you could move to eight different directions right you can move to this you can move to this cell you can move to this cell i'm not naming the cells again right but you can understand i have already told you earlier uh, so one two three four five six let's say seven and then eight so one two three four five six seven and eight so you can see eight directions are there so if i was if i say that here standing for for me standing here the probability is one then i can be present at eight different directions right and i'll be choosing one of them right suppose that i choose one of them so i can see that the, for the first cell i have one by eight probability for the second cell i have one by eight probability for the next cell i have probability one by eight next cell i have the probability one by eight next cell i have the probability a one by eight and similarly for all the eight cells i have the probability as one by eight because one by eight plus 1 by 8 up till 8 times will give me nothing but 1 so the total probability will come out to be 1 right so this this will be the condition now similarly for this cell suppose suppose I choose the uh, suppose I pick up this cell so for this cell also I'll have 8 options right suppose for this cell I'll have 8 options again so 1 2 3 4 then 5 then 6 and then 7 and then 8 so you can see that for this cell also I'll have 8 options so now what will be the probability because this this cell if if the if the parent cell if the if the parent cell had the probability 1 then its children children cell had the probability 1 by 8 so if the parent cell uh, parent cell if this cell is having the probability as 1 by 8 so its children will have the probability as 1 by 8 into 1 by 8 right because every time you can see that there are 8 different cells through which I can move so that's why if the parent uh, cell is having the probability as 1 by 8 so I'll have the probability 1 by 8 into 1 by 8 that is 1 by 64 and that is actually true because if you see uh, in the upper part so the probability of reaching this cell from the topmost starting cell uh, in this is, is nothing but 1 by 64 right because for every other cell they'll they will be eight options for this cell also they will be eight options right for this cell also they will be eight options for this cell also they will be eight options right so that's why the probability of reaching this particular cell this blue cell will be nothing but 1 by 64 right so that's what I have to do now when will I add the probabilities for a particular cell right suppose that uh, instead of instead of moving this much suppose that I just took one step and I have to calculate the probability that uh, how much uh, is the probability so I can definitely say that suppose that uh, there are some cells suppose that this cell this cell this cell and this cell suppose these four cells are out of uh, suppose that these four cells are something that go out of bound right they they are outside the chessboard so i can say that uh, these four cells are remaining so i'll say that 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 is the probability of me remaining because if if i go out of the cell so the probability will become zero uh, and if i'm inside so i'll add their probability right one by one and that's that's how i can get the final probability for this level right but i need to find it overall right so i'll have a probability variable that will help me to calculate for each and every level one by one right so this is something that i will be doing right and after this part is done so i'll simply print the answer and what are the three parameters that are changing i can see that my x variable x uh, x coordinate is changing y coordinate is changing apart from this the number of steps right so you can say k the number of steps the number of steps is changing right because first step then second step then third step then fourth step so there will be a lot of steps here that will be included so this is also something that i need to keep in mind right let us try and quickly implement this code so that we can learn more about it so as you know that i have made this dx and dy for uh, all the eight directions to which i can move right i can say that what i will be first of all doing is i'll declare a i'll declare a dp variable right i'll say that double dp so i'll declare a dp variable uh, which is which will be of three dimensions so n n and n because uh, because uh, i can say that x y and x y and k will be the changing parameters so that's why i need three parameters here and then what i can say is that after this dp uh, is declared for the double i will say that i need to simply 
iterate in this dp and i need to mark all the initial values initial probabilities as one right because if i'm take if i've taken suppose that i've taken no step right as i mentioned if this this is uh, like this one by eight is the probability after taking the first step right after taking the first step the probability for every cell will be one by eight but suppose that if i have not taken any step if i have taken zero steps so i can say that if i have taken zero steps then the probability will be one right so that's that's what i'll be doing so first of all i'll be iterating through all the cells and i'll be saying that suppose that uh, i starts on zero i is lesser than n and i plus plus right after this part i'll say that for i'll run a loop for j so for the uh, for into j starts from zero right j starts from zero and j is lesser than n then j plus plus right so what i will say here is i'll say that here i'll say that for every cell for every cell i comma j i'll mark the uh, i comma j right for every cell i comma j i'll say that if the number of steps are zero in that case i'll mark the probability as one because if i've not taken any step steps then the probability of that cell will be one right night night after this right after this part what i will do is i'll run for the steps so i'll say that i need to i need to run for each step so i need to say that int let's say step is uh, let's say s is equal to steps so step one then uh steps will be lesser than steps right that the given number of steps is a steps then i will do a uh, s plus plus here and like i'll be running for each step right and i'll start iterating so i'll say that for int x starts from zero and x is lesser than n capital l and then x plus plus so one by one i'll be changing my x coordinate and y coordinate so i'll be running uh, and then i'll say that in y starts from because i i've already been given the starting uh, starting a x cell and the starting y cell here in this part so i'll be using that in this loop so i'll say that a int uh, x is equal to zero uh, y is equal to zero y is lesser than n right y is lesser than capital n and then y plus plus right after this part is done so what i will do is after this part is done so i will say that now i need to i need to say that first of all i'll say that initially the probability will be zero right and i'll keep on adding the probability one by one so as i'll say that double probability is equal to zero i'll initially mark the probability as zero and i'll keep on iterating so i'll say that how many positions i can iterate through so i can say that in i can iterate overall through how many positions so i can iterate through a total of nothing but how many directions i can iterate through eight directions so i have made a vector for that so i can say that int uh, let's say int i starts from zero and i is lesser than eight i is lesser than eight and then i plus plus and then what i will be doing is i will say that now i need to calculate my new x so int new x will be nothing but the x value that has been given to me the initial x coordinate that i am at right initial x coordinate that i am at right and then x plus what uh, d uh, dx of i right x plus dx of i and int n y is equal to nothing but y plus uh, dy of i right so i'm basically changing i'm basically making a new x and the new y right and now i need to check that if this new x and new y that i am at if it is inside so i'll make a function for myself i'll say that i'll make a function inside which will tell me that whether or not in this uh, grid of n cross n size in this chessboard of n cross n size whether or not this new x and new y coordinate is lying inside it or not if it is lying inside it then it will return a true and if it returns a true then i'll add the probability uh, for overall probability i'll add the probability for this cell in the overall probability for this level right so i'll say that probability plus is equal to probability plus is equal to nothing but dp of uh, new uh, new x right dp of new x new y and the number of steps that i have taken previously till previously right in divided by what divided by 8.0 right divided by 8.0 because every time i said that the probability will be will keep on dividing by 8 right for first for the first level the probability will be 1 by 8 then the probability will be 1 by 64 then the probability will be 1 by 64 into 1 by 8 right so it it will keep on decrementing uh, for every step it will keep on decrementing by 1 by 8 right so that's why i have taken this after this part is done so i i also need to implement the inside function right so in the inside function what will i do so in the inside function i need to declare this thing that in the inside function i'll say that i need to have a bool inside function that will tell me that whether or not uh, this x comma y cell is inside or not so i'll say that int n and uh, comma int x comma int y indicating the cells uh, the x and the y coordinates right so i'll say that what i need to do is i need to say i need to say that if it happens right if it happens that x is greater or equal to 0 right x is greater or equal to 0 and it happens that x is lesser than n right 
सो इफ एक्स इज इन कंट्रोल एंड इट हैपन्स दैट वाई इज ग्रेटर इक्वल टू जीरो एंड वाई इज लेसर देन एन इन दैट केस इट इज वैलिड इन दैट केस आई से दैट ओके आई नीड टू रिटर्न वॉट आई नीड टू रिटर्न ट्रू दैट मीन्स दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टेट विल बी फाइन अदरवाइज आई नीड टू रिटर्न अ फॉल्स राइट अदरवाइज आई विल रिटर्न फॉल्स इंडिकेटिंग दैट दैट सेल इज आउटसाइड द चेस बोर्ड राइट दैट पर्टिकुलर सेल इज आउटसाइड द चेस बोर्ड वंस आई हैव डन दीज कैलकुलेशन सो वॉट आई विल डू आई एल सिंपली से दैट नाउ आई एल स्टोर लाइक वंस द कंप्यूटेशन आर डन फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर लेवल सो वंस दिस फॉर लूप इज डन राइट सो आफ्टर दिस पार्ट सो आई विल से दैट नाउ आई नीड टू स्टोर दिस आंसर राइट सो आई नीड टू से that since i am storing this particular answer here so after this if uh, for for loop is over so i'll say that now i need to store it so i'll say that uh, dp of what dp of uh, x the xl the y xy is equal to nothing but dp of xy and the number of steps as s is equal to nothing but the probability that i have calculated up till now right after this part is done so i will say that now the probability will get stored one by one and for which cell i need to return the probability i need to return the probability i need to return the probability for which cell for the start x right for the start x and the start y right and the number of steps so i need to say that in the end i'll return the uh, probability for start x right start underscore x right and then start uh, start underscore y right i because initially i was thinking that i'll be starting from every cell so i calculate the probability this way and suppose that if i start from this cell a start x start y and start and the number of steps so i will know this probability because it will already be stored right so now let us try and compile this code to see if there is any compilation issue so you can see that we are getting the expected outputs as, as 0.125 let us try and submit this code so you can see that our uh, solution was able to pass all the test cases and in this problem since we use three loop one inside the other so the overall time complexity for this approach is going to be order of n cube and the space complexity is also going to be n cube because we took a 3d uh, vector thank you for watching this video